Hello students, in this video we'll show that the open interval between 0 and 1 is uncountable using Cantor's diagonalization argument. So our claim is that the open interval from 0 to 1 is uncountable. Okay, and this is the proof that's due to Cantor. This is Cantor's proof of this fact. And so the idea is that if there was a bijection, suppose we could enumerate every element of the interval 0 to 1. And I'm going to use the fact that every element between every x between 0 and 1 has a at least one decimal expansion. So what we can do is we can write down an enumeration. So here's the first element. The first element will look like point a11, a12, a13, etc. In other words, what this is, this a11 term is exactly equal to this, is exactly equal to the sum. j goes from 1 to infinity of a1j times 10 to the power negative j. That's the representation of 1. The representation of two, the next number, where we map 2, is going to go to point 2, 1, A, 2, 2, A, 2, 3, and so on forever. And so its representation, its decimal representation is this, the sum from 1 to infinity, A, 2J, times 10 to the power of negative J. And then in general, the nth term, or the kth term, we go down all the way to the nth term, the nth term will be mapped to dot A, N, 1, A, N, 1. 2, a, n, 3, and so on forever. And now I'm up to the sum. j goes from 1 to infinity of a, n, j times 10 to the power of negative j. So those are our decimal expansions. This process goes on forever. I've enumerated all of them, right? And here, for every, we know that these a, n, k are elements of what set? Are elements of the set 0, 1, 2, all the way up to 9. And so I can do is the following. I can construct, following Cantor's reasoning, a number which is not in the set. What we'll do is we'll consider the diagonal. This is why it's called a diagonalization argument. Consider that diagonal. And so pick, choose, B, K, K, to be a number, 1 through 9, that's different to be not equal to A, K, K. In other words, we choose a different, something different, right? So for example, if A11 was 2, I could choose B11 to be 3. If A22 was 9, I could choose B22 to be 8. So it's always possible to choose something different since there's at least there's 10 elements in the set, so just choose anything to be different from them. And so what I can do then is I can consider this number Y, and this number Y, which is the sum, it's the sum K, goes from 1 to infinity of these numbers b, k, k, times 10 to the power negative k. And so this element is a decimal expansion, so this y is an element of 0, 1, that y is an element of 0, 1, and y is not equal to any of the things in the list. And y is not, from the, doesn't that come from the list? y is not listed in the enumeration. Because y is different from every element in this list by in at least one slot. Since y differs in at least one slot from every element in this list, y cannot be in this list. Therefore, the conclusion is that 0, 1 is an uncountable set. So now we've shown that there is a cardinality that is different from the cardinality of the natural numbers. In future videos, we'll see how we can actually construct an infinite chain of cardinalities using another one of Cantor's results. Thank you very much.